all going? Hi. How are you guys doing? Good, how are you? Good, are you excited? About open mic night. Do you guys have a, like, a beer list by chance? We do not. I'll take my beer. Do you have any shouts? One. Thank you. This is not my place. I guess it's open mic night. I guess. <laughs> how about the foam? Look at this. Wow. No head on that beer at all. Right there is where half of their beer costs is. So that was probably 40% of that beer. Easy. Mm -hmm. I have concerns about what we refer to as a beer clean glass because you could tell by the way that it was poured in the lack of standing head that there's some residue from somewhere inside that glass. I had a beer that was old. The characteristics of an IPA would be the hops would be there and they weren't there. So that means the beer's old. They've fallen off. Do you see any open mic stuff happening? No. This is the epitome of a bad bar promotion. You see, the worst thing you want to do is start something and then not get it going. OK, so what is she making there? That's a brewed Mary, right? Bloody Mary mix, little hot sauce, beer. Yeah, a little spice, a little beer, a little Bloody Mary. That pour was so clogged, she had to screw it off the bottom. Look at the chow! Look at oh. the chow! Oh, man, oh. it chunks! It was so thick, it wouldn't even go through the pour, but then she had to oh squeeze. Oh my gosh, if it is that chunky, then there must be something wrong with it. And the fact that you would see that as you're putting it in a drink and still serve that drink speaks to standards. Unbelievable, right? right. Oh, so they keep a pitcher of water next to the tapper to rinse the foam. So they expect wow. the foam. It's status quo, I guess. And there's Jim. He doesn't see the beer going down the drain. He doesn't see anything. <gasps> oh, my God. What happened? I just, I don't know. I feel like it's Do you not, like, release the, the pressure body? properly? Like, like, it's so basic. Like, how do you not know how to pull the nozzle properly? It like, It wasn't my fault. It just was, like, foamy. And yeah, I, that's why you need to pay attention, because if you would have done that properly, you wouldn't have sprayed every word. It wouldn't be an issue. You wouldn't be covered in beer. They wouldn't be covered in beer. Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. If they could quit bickering, they would be much better off. Chris is just completely unapproachable. She walks around with a scowl on her face. You know, these two are polar opposites. The uh, bartender's gone because she's singing. So that's good. Woo -hoo! How are you guys Woo! doing two, 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 two. tonight? All right, so our welcome to open mic night. This is my vision, but without you guys making this happen, it would definitely not happen. Chris is going to be performing one of my favorite songs that he does. It's called Turn It Up. Because the night is turning down, let's turn it up. OK, so this is starting to make sense now. So Kristen is the only one performing on open mic night. So why do you think open mic night exists? Because Kristen needs a platform to showcase her talent. The only thing I'm thinking of is I'd kill the mic if it was me. Oh. Turn it down, turn it up. They're not even singing the same notes. Turn it down. Woo. Yeah. Wow. Hey, Chris, could we get some beers? Bottles. Thank you. He only drinks bottled beer in his bar. Can you blame him? Is this yours? No, it was just here. Sorry, you want to move your phone for a second? I don't want to get anything on it. Yeah. Oh, I can smell the pine salt. I'm, I'm enjoying My The guys that come in here call it the chemical because we don't even know, I don't even know what that cleaner is. Really? It's like one of those bulk cleaners, so we put it in a spray bottle that's just like this. Like, we just refill it. So my friend, he's like, the chemical, like, the chemical cleaner. But I think it is pine salt, pretty much. Wash your hands. Please wash your hands. Please oh, wash, she's not gonna wash, please wash your hands. You just handled chemicals, cleaning products. The popcorn is being scooped out, and her hand is all over it. The pitcher she's pouring is all foam right now. Oh, wow. It's beer. 
we're not reinventing the wheel here, John. Uh, but that beer can cost eight to 20 cents an ounce, and that's really expensive when it goes down uh, the drain. Absolutely. And we just saw hundreds of ounces go down that drain. I think they poured more than they served. But night after night after night, has Jim done the math and said, you know, if I dump three beers, every time I sell one, I can't make money. His back is to the bar. He's oblivious to what's going on. His bar is hemorrhaging money, and he's got a Kool-Aid smile. You know, this guy does not know the economics of beer. I'm going to teach him. He needs to learn, doesn't he, Sean? Good, good luck with that. Jim, you the owner? Yes, I am. I want to show you something. Come back with me for a minute. Just give me a pitcher of beer and a bunch of glasses. Oh, of course. One down. Keep going. Let's go. OK, Jim, did you buy this bar to make money? I did. Fill that pitcher with beer. I want you to hold it on an angle, because I'm going to catch all the foam coming out. Go ahead. But just keep the foam coming into the glass, OK? Keep going. <laughs> keep going now, Jim. Let's keep going. We're really making money now, aren't we, guys? Hey, let's keep going. There's another one. Let's go. Here we go. Keep pouring. Come on, Jim. Keep pouring it. OK. There's about three and a half glasses of beer in that pitcher. How many glasses are here? One, two, three, four and a half. What beer do you drink in your bar? Uh, bottle. Why? Because it tastes better. Does anybody here want to drink this, really? Is this not the worst beer you've ever seen in your life? Because your beer sucks, right? For the most part, yeah. And you know that. Yeah. But you'll let him drink it, but you won't. Well, yes. How do you feel when you dump beer down a drain all night long? Do you ever feel like an idiot? Well, obviously. Yeah. And then it overflows the foam. So you've prepared for it, haven't you, with this? Yes. What is this? Hot water. And what is that for? To keep the hops from building up in the line. Because you didn't do your job. They now have to take a warm pitcher and rinse this off all night long. And as an end result, every beer you sell costs you three. So can you make money like this? No. If you know that, why are you watching your money go down the drain so you stupid or lazy?